This is Fast Drag, my first ever hardcore Iron Man, dying to Telos and losing my final life. To this day, this disconnect haunts me. But three years later, I think it's time to go back and accomplish what Fast Drag never could. Not only do I want to kill Telos, but I want to do a 200 kill streak, which is the maximum kill streak the game allows you to do before forcing you to claim your loot. This means I'll be streaking Telos from 0% to over 2000% in rage continuously on a hardcore Iron Man. If I'm good enough to get this done, not only will I get my favorite title in the game, which is the Silver Warden, but I'll also get an absolute ton of loot. But if I fail, it's going to be absolutely devastating. Telos is the most dangerous boss on a hard Iron Man, because the Ring of Life doesn't work and there's no teleporting out, so it's kill or be killed. Before we're ready to start our 200 kill streak, there are a couple things I need to get done. The first is to obtain Zemregal's Nexus by doing a crisp 100 Vorkath kills. This is going to increase the level of Bone Shield from 60 all the way up to 75, which is going to make some of my defensive abilities a little bit stronger. The one other thing I'd really like to get is the Lord of Bones incantation, which is also dropped from Vorkath. If I'm lucky enough to get it, it's going to make sure that my hit chance is always 100% at Telos, which should make the kills a lot smoother. Once we get those two things, it's going to be Telos time. I'm not gonna lie, Vorkath didn't go very well at all. I'm doing 100 quick kills in normal mode, because if you get the boss to phase 3 and then nuke Zemmer Eagle, you can skip about half of the boss fight, which is great. What isn't great is I kept forgetting to fire the Ballista while I was focused on Zemmer Eagle, which resulted in a number of incidents. I think I activated a Sign or Ring of Life more times just in this 100 kill count than every other incident on this hard Iron Man combined. That said, 100 kill count is 100 kill count, and by some miracle, I was able to get through these kills without losing my hard crier, man. So let's check our loot. Zemmerigal's Nexus, locked and loaded. 60 loot. If I get a drop, that's gonna be cool. 310k, right? 259? What? Wait, normal load? We're going to the bone zone, baby! 110 normal kills, and we're pet off log. Now that we've got our Nexus upgraded and the Lord of Bones incantation, I think we've got everything we need for Telos. Why don't we set up our preset, do all of our final checks, and then we're gonna begin our 200 kill streak. I only have one singular kill count at Telos, so a lot of this is gonna be learning on the fly. I don't know exactly how the boss is gonna feel with the setup that I have on my hard cry Iron Man, but as long as I'm able to adapt and I'm playing things safe, we're ready to rock. Yeah, this is just like the, the very beginning, you know? This is not a practice run. No, this is the actual real deal. I think I forgot to death mark. Oh, and there's no P5. <laughs> I was getting ready for P5 to like spam my invoke death, but there there isn't one. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, start. I think I need to just tweak a couple of things. All right, we're at 100%. It's danger time. All right, good kill. I'm going to get some water. I'll be back in a bit, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Would have been pretty funny. <laughs> All right, boss died. <sighs> Did I win? Bro, imagine not getting a drop on my first 100% kill. Huh? Um, I signed. <laughs> We're not off to a great start. I think I volley a sold a tick too late. Hey, look, I didn't die. <laughs> Whew, well, first side at Telos on the hardcore. Came a little earlier than anticipated, but we're chilling. I forgot to vol the boss. <sighs> I really am the worst necromancer. Sorry, I'm very much just learning how to do this boss. All right, well, that seemed fine. 12 Torstal Seeds? You shouldn't have. Bro, I'm not learning anything on these P5s because they're just falling over so fast. <laughs> this is actually like, it's almost unhelpful. Okay, that was a well-timed barricade, I think. Great kill. Bro, that's not a soccer ball. What is this? Keep it going. It's time to become the warden. Look at the sh movement. He has become the warden. 
Unfortunately, this is word in one of three for this singular streak. So we're going to have to keep going. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Bro, I just ultra instincted that. That should have, I should have perished. Someone in chat just said any close call so far. Yeah, that. What? Oh, it's because I phased after tendrils. No, I did too much damage. Ugh, dude. We're about a quarter of the way into our 200 kill streak, which means the first 50 and the easiest 50 kills are out of the way. And already I'm noticing that I underestimated this boss and we've got a bit of a problem. I have almost all of the best gear and best equipment for Telos on my hard crying man, but there's one massive upgrade that I'm missing. Currently on phase five, when I use the barricade ability, that ability makes me completely immune to all damage for 11 seconds. And what that means is I've got 11 seconds to do as much damage as I possibly can and hopefully finish off the entire boss fight. But as the boss gets harder and the enrage gets higher, the chance of me not being able to finish the phase within that 11 seconds increases. If my barricade runs out for even one second at the end of a phase five, there's a chance that I could die. If I can get the tier two Maliotops perk from the Ranch Out of Time, which requires 117 farming, my barricade will go from 11 seconds all the way up to 16 seconds. So this isn't a marginal upgrade, this is absolutely massive. And a 16 second barricade is gonna mean that I can guaranteed finish every single phase five, no problem at all. So with that said, it's time for a bit of a farming arc. The fastest way to train farming is to ultra grow carambolas and golden dragon fruits. And there's only one monster in RuneScape that drops both of those seeds. And conveniently, it's Raksha. So why don't we hit the pause button on our 200 kill streak and let's do some Raksha specifically for seeds. As soon as we've got 117 farming, I've already got the Maliotopses in my bank. We'll have to plant them in the ground. And as soon as they're elder, we're gonna resume. Any seeds in chat? Spirit weed seeds, wrong kind. I need to be more specific. Very clearly. There's something really funny about going to Raksha specifically for the seed drops, because I swear, whenever I'm doing Raksha for money, I get seeds every second kill. But the second I'm actually needing the seeds, I'm getting nothing but boots and salvage and onyx dust and basically everything else on the drop table. But alas, after a brief stint at Raksha, I finally have enough seeds to get to 117 farming. We also managed to get one very important thing that we don't need right now, but in a couple episodes, it's gonna be pretty important. Back to back seeds, please. Oh my God! dude yes dude that's the best drop we could have had that is 220k farming xp and the, and the grit goes okay too i guess you have unlocked the greater ricochet ability very cool drop you're so big oh no how that's my arm this is the most farming i've ever done in my life i've had timers and alarms ringing five six seven different times a day for all of my different tree runs and fruit tree runs and i was even doing herb runs just to further increase my farming xp but finally after weeks and weeks of nothing but straight raksha and straight farming we're finally level 117. that is 117 farming done <laughs> the last thing to do is to trade reroll my maliotopses so that they have old at heart Without Old at Heart, they take 10 full days to reach Elder, and the Old at Heart trait will make them grow a little bit faster and shave off three days, which will mean that from the point that I put these in the ground, I'll be able to go to Telos in exactly one week. One week later. So my Maliotopsis should be grown. They should be Elder. Yes, they are. Beautiful. Okay, let me activate the Telos presets. Yeah, see, my damage here just isn't that good. I also think I need to life transfer too, which I'm going to. Ooh, we got a scrolly bar. Oh, that's exciting. We do like the scrolly bar. Holy crap, that P1. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. I think I'm getting better. I think I'm definitely getting better. Any drops? Oh my god! Wait, that's our first orb, I think. That has to be. All right, let's see it. In three, in two, in what? In post, can we just enlarge the seed to make it look like a green orb, please? Ooh, wait, pause. Wait, I can't stop the spinning. Oh, it is an orb. Yes, dude, okay. So that is our first Telos orb. Hubbin' in. We got the little seeds and then we got the big seed. Before you call me a spoon in the comments, we should go over the loot at Telos and why a 200 kill streak is so powerful. The best drop rate you can ever get at Telos is one in 15. And this normally only happens at about 2,500% in rage. 
but your enrage isn't the only thing that impacts your drop chance, your streak count does as well. And because of that, on a 200 kill streak, by the time we're at the halfway point, so we're 100 kills in and we're just over 1000% enrage, our drop chance is already going to be a 1 in 15 for the entire rest of that streak. Because of this, with average luck, a 200 kill streak should result in just under 10 unique drops, which is absolutely insane. Surviving this thing isn't just about revenge, it's also about taking Telos for all he's worth and running away with all of his stuff. Imagine winning, couldn't be me. Can I win? That's my 75th Telos kill and a drop! Wait, I think that's a dormant. I think that's a dormant. Please, ZGS, please not a stick of sadness. What? Dormant Seeds of Sliske? What is this? Telos, inhale bees. I love bees, bees are great, but imagine how un unpleasant it would be if you were like a Telos and you had to you had to eat a bunch of bees. Like that probably suck. I want to create an environment so toxic. Any droppers? Wait, okay, that's an actual Dormant. Surely we're running out of possible seed drops, right? Surely. Are you kidding me? The only drop I don't need for best in slot. Do you have to do me like this? Stick of sadness. Bye. <laughs> Man's died in two seconds. Did I win? Nope. Yup. <laughs> oh, help. <laughs> Did I win? <gasps> That's a drop. Please, please, please. <sighs> That's, I mean, I wasn't wrong. It is a drop technically. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm going for the drop. Imagine like in a video, it's like zooming in and then ready. <gasps> That's nothing. <laughs> and that is a thousand percent in rage unlocked. And that is the bronze warden title done. Locked and loaded. Let's freaking go, dude. All right. So far, so good. We didn't use any food that kill. We're chilling. At around 1000% in rage, we are absolutely cruising on this 200 kill streak. There haven't really been too many incidents, and I'm feeling fantastic about the kills. We're barely using any food, but Telos has a way to compound mistakes. And sometimes, if you make one tiny little mistake, it can snowball out of control, and that is unfortunately exactly what happened. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, if I lost a life at Telos to like a disconnect or something, so that I'm in like permadeath stage, this was an absolutely huge mistake. Volcanic Golems can only stun you on their third attack, and I thought I'd only been hit once before I sticky bombed the Volcanic Golem, meaning I would be able to safely use Barricade before I was eligible to be stunned again. But as it turns out, I don't know how to count, and the Volcanic Golem reached over with his Extendo Arm and stunned me instantly, right before the Rockfall and right before I was going to click Barricade. I got so lucky here, because if multiple rocks had ended up on the same location, which is entirely luck-based, this could have been the end. If that rock that landed literally one tile next to my character had landed on my head, that activates the Ring of Death, and just like that, every single form of protection we have is gone. He one ticked me and I had to dart! There was one game tick between my freedom and what I anteed. <laughs> Chat so soft, Ryan's heart rate and blood pressure could probably take it. Yeah, what if they what if it can't? Ever think about that? Okay, we just absolutely chonked. Telos just got absolutely walloped. Alright, good first kill today. Dude, I'm kind of being dumb right now, you know? Yeah, like that was really stupid. I should have catered like 11 years earlier. We don't like that. Yeah, what was that? I need to figure out my back beams, I think. After that near death, we need to make an adjustment. Instead of using freedom as I run towards the back beam, we're gonna start using anticipate instead, which will last all the way up to the point that I use barricade. I'm also gonna start using my adrenaline potion after I use living death, just to get to barricade a tiny little bit faster. This new rotation will make it harder for me to deal damage once I've used Barricade, because I will be eligible to be stunned, but I'd much rather get stunned while I'm immune to damage than get stunned before that and die. Okay, that was way better. <laughs> that was nasty. That was great. Oh my god, it's a drop! I think that's a red orb. Wait, I think we've got a red orb. Give it to me. Are you kidding me again? You're actually trolling me, Telos. Why are you like this? Stupid boss. You want 10 tickles? You get zero tickles. You suck. All right, good kill, we're chilling. Any droppers? This is kill number 100, by the way. Did I win? Nope. All right, 100 kills deep. We're not looking so hot on drops. That's an orb. That has to be an orb. That's a red orb. That's a red orb. I'm no, not even a preamble. That's a red orb. Get in. Absolutely, freaking lootly we take those. Okay. 
Any back-to-backers? <gasps> Wait, that's another orb! That's a back-to-back! -back. Oh, yeah, we take those any day of the week! Little back-to-back -back orb action coming in. So we need one dormant that doesn't suck and to not die, and we got a weapon in there. Ooh, I got an auto attack. That's my first auto attack this streak on P4. He's beginning to throw. <gasps> no, that's worse seeds. Stri no, I'm not even, I'm not even getting hyped. <laughs> I've been played before. <laughs> All right, we're up above 1400% in age. I'm reflecting there because like sometimes if it's in there for a little too long, you get nuked and I'd rather not get nuked. So play it safe. Oh, I got nuked. <gasps> Did I win? Dude, when am I going to get a drop? I'm just so glad I got long cave, man. Long cave makes life so much better. Did I win? That is another pure orb, right? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we're getting a lot of orbs. That's not a bad thing. I mean, obviously we need the dormants and those are the things that are harder to get, but I will actually take a pure orb. Means, hey, if I die and I, you know, lose my hard crying man PVMing license, at least I'll have one pure orb to remember this. That is 1496% in rage. Any droppers? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's always seeds, man. I've hit that land and I'm seed drop like eight times. Beautiful. Did I win? Wait, is that another drop? Tell me that's not another stick of sadness. No, it's not. It's more seeds. <laughs> I love that everything under the fold is seeds. It's a 50% seed. It's either an orb or a seed. Beautiful. 1,548. I think we gained almost exactly 500 in rage today. A little bit over. What a great day of pushing. We did a we did a really, really solid job today. No signs, no darts used, no incidents. Oh, uh, that's seeds. <laughs> no troll me today. Okay, so I don't think my red golem rotation works. That's another orb. <laughs> Not like this. Again, three kills in a row. I'm going in on zero address. Okay. I think maybe I should consider just letting him hang out of the beam. Did I win? Is that another T sauce? No. Oh, it's actually not. Oh. Okay. Any drops? Nope. 600 mil, though, has been accrued. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Heart rate still chugging along. Let's continue. Up to 1,900 in rage. Uh, hello? That was really bad. Oh my god. Okay, let's not do that again. Dude, look at how many seeds we have. Wait, that's wild. Today is a special day. Because today is going to be the grand finale of the 200 kill streak. Either... We kill or we lose. So this is gonna run me out of the font. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yikes, that was not nice. That was a freaking steer. <laughs> Wait, that's either a reprisal, which would be cool or an orb, which would also be cool. Or it's seeds and I'm gonna cry. Surely it's an orb. Surely. Are you kidding me? Again? Oh, what? Three slots available to be filled. Two of them are orbs. The remaining two are uniques. And it sees again. Why are you like this? Actually inhale a flock of angry bees. That is 2,000% enraged Telos. Done and dusted. Didn't do it as a no food because I did have to use a brew sip and a jellyfish sip bite kind of unsure if it's like actually jelly it could be could be liquid any droppers nope that's more seeds you are the absolute worst i've hit these these two rolls next to the orb like 11 times let's continue 30 more kills to go as soon as i get the 200 kill streak done i'm gonna put on the title it just it feels like awful luck now that we've crossed over 2000 percent in rage and i finally got the silver warden title we're in the final few kills of this 200 kill streak but we're not home free yet, because above 2000% in rage, Telos gets significantly more difficult, and he now has the ability to two-shot me from full HP through my prayer. I need to be absolutely perfect for these last kills, so let's lock in and get it done. Any droppers? That's more seeds. Brother, <laughs> 522? Ugh, I'm in pain. 
70% armor break? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, that's not good. I'm about to get absolutely walloped. I could be dead on arrival the second I drop down. Res? Reflect? <laughs> Vitbot? <laughs> oh, help. Yeah, look, they're all hitting me. <laughs> Did you see how much damage I took there? And that was through Reflect. So without Reflect, they would have all been just walloping 3Ks the whole time. Is that 18,000 energy from one drop? It might be. Do you guys know what time it is? I think it's... Dormant Saren Godbo... Never mind. Got a West Walk. Oh, sh He west walked me back into the beam. I just spammed defensive the whole phase. I was sure I was getting nuked there. Labima? <laughs> Any droppers? Dude, what a dry streak. I'm risking it all right now for no loot. All right. Please, game. 66 onyxes? Bro, I can't do anything with them. I don't even have time to elk that many onyxes. Whoa, I'm kind of missing some, some damage here. That's fine. Plus that I didn't. I think I just mineraled. Wait, that's a dormant. I think that's a Zara's God Sword. Wait, it might be a reprisal. Wait, please. Oh, it's a CGS. Nice, dude. Okay, I'm I'm cool with this. I'm actually totally fine with this. I don't even care. Like, obviously the Saren God Bow is the thing we needed the most. But if I come out of this 200 kill streak with a functioning CGS and a functioning Staff of Siske, if I want one. That's pretty cool. At the very end of the 200 kill streak, only 12 kills remain. Come on. Back to back? Nope. <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it is funny that the two most useful drops are Reprisal and STB, and I have neither of the two, but it's a nice looking chest, all right? Plus one seeds, now this is a drop. Nope, it's salvage. All right, we're into the final 10 kills. Just in case you forgot already. What? That's not me, that's somebody else. That's not me. Uh, Telos? Brother, he's walloping me. I'm not overloaded. Thank you. Any drops? 67. That was one single onyx. Ah, <laughs> uh, why you like this? All right, Ryan, do not mess this up, please. I have a bad feeling about this kill. I just need to dial in. Two phases down. Keep the composure. Remain composted. Uh, I'm going to let him smite me because it's a west walk, and I don't trust myself on a west walk to let him in the beam. So slight change for this kill, but I think it's worth it. So even though I've got no adrenaline, uh, I'm okay with that. It was kind of intentional. Just a little dangerous. Beautiful. Little change of pace on the fly. I don't have disruption shield. Row, row. <laughs> the first kill in like 40, I didn't get my disrupt off because the volcanic stunned me. Armor's 100% juice, though, so I should be okay. Yeah, we're okay. Absolutely free. Bye, Telos! <laughs> and that should be it. A 200 kill streak at Telos. Done and dusted on a hardcore Iron Man. First thing I have to do, I didn't want to do it because it was bad luck. Silver Warden is my favorite title in the entire game. That's all mine. Whoo, my heart. Dude, we, we were composed, we were calm. We knocked it down. And let's check her drop. It's going to be seeds. We already know it. Uh, it's actually hides. Wow. And yep, it will not let me streak any further. We are absolutely maxed out. So let's grab a luck ring. Try for reroll. But uh, that was some freaking gaming we just got done. Any rerolls in chat? Does not look like it. 947 million coins. Look at all the energies, man. 200,000 divine energies. 67 onyxes. 20,000 salvage, probably 99 fletching in dragon dart tips. We didn't do great on drops, so I might have to do a, a second one of these. All right, in three, in two, in one, bang. That's so sick. That is so freaking sick. Nah, that's unreal. <laughs> that's so cool. The fact that you did it with Necro nulls it for me. Wait, wait, they put you in the game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if you knew about this, but uh, look, it's you. The fact that you had darts in your event nulls it for me. Cool, cool, cool. Anyone else have any amendments they want to make? Or are you guys going to let me live my life? 
The fact that you did it with thumbs nulls it for me. The fact that you didn't do it with Guitar Hero controller nulls it for me. The fact that Pup Carry nulls it for me. The fact that you use a computer and not mobile nulls it for me. The fact that you're a hardcore nulls it for me. The fact that you want to live your life nulls it for me. The fact that you did it in EOC nulls it for me. The fact that you didn't do it at 4K nulls it for me. The fact that Pippin wasn't the last boss nulls it for me. The fact that you use a keyboard. The fact that you cheated with a foot pedal nulls it for me. The fact that you didn't do it in Fortnite nulls it for me. Okay, perfect. I'm glad we got the we got the non-believers out of the way, and I'm so very glad we did that. I think it's ZGS time. Oh, dude, it looks so good too. On a hardcore? That's so sick. Can I even equip it? Wait! I'm not level 92 attack! I'm level 91! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the fact that you can't equip it nulls it for me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I can't equip it, but you guys can imagine how how great it would look, okay? And that is level 92 attack in the most embarrassing way possible. Okay, I do have to say, ZGS looks ridiculously nice. This, like, always will go down as my my favorite looking weapon in the game. It's just beautiful. With our 200 kill streak complete, I finally got revenge on Tellas. But that's not the end of our journey. And I think it's time to turn our attention to the strongest combat style in the game. In the next episode, the Ranger arc will begin.